how a team can kind of snowball. The laning phase is going to be key for both of these teams here. Whoever runs away with the laning phase is going to have just a, just a magnificent lead going in. All right, well, here we are, guys. We're in game number two of Team Effect versus Virtus Pro. And we've got that early smoke coming out. They're going to go out, throw out the wards. King R already making his way over there. Lil also grabbing his ward. Be able to place early. Looks like uh, RZ kind of knows that they're probably going to be going for some sort of play here, but isn't going to be able to intercept. Man, both oh, of I the like words this. get dropped. Yeah, both the words get dropped. They're going to need a sentry, obviously, for this brood. Brood's already got her quelling blade, though, so you know she's expecting it. She just cut it down as fast as possible. King Arb feeling real confident over here, just right in front of this rune. Look at just all the movement going around. We've already got Lil kind of hanging out over on the Radiant side. A couple so, of clicks getting off here over onto Solo. So I was kind of right in the fact that it's a mid-brood. They're going to send Afo Ninja, it looks like, to the safe lane? lane? Because Brood's setting up in the mid. So it looks like they want to they're trying do... out something different, I guess. They want to get like an offlane Necrophos and a safe lane Quap, it looks like, is their answer. So, I mean, it's just... This is really weird. Really, really peculiar. Putting this Quap in the safe lane. Lil is in the... <laughs> the trees over here, just creeping on uh, the rest of the Radiant. Yeah, he's got full vision. Moving forward, is he gonna go? Yeah, he's gonna go try to steal this rune. We'll jump immediately over onto Mag, and he will be able to get that bounty rune. I'm not sure that spider saw that coming. Man, the the plays from Lil, both games have just been, just been crazy. Oh yeah, it's been amazing. Like his Night Stalker was just a force to be reckoned with. And they're actually gonna do a lane swap. They're gonna send the Queen of Pain into the off lane now. Trying they some different oh, stuff. Okay, oh, all right. Yeah. And they're going to send yep. Lena to top to deal with it. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Ramsey's, Ramsey's mid Ursa versus the Brood. And like, Sedoi back. I'm so, not sure. I'm really not sure, I guess. Uh, but yeah, you do have this weird matchup here in mid with Ramsey's playing the uh, Ursa over here against Mag. You've got the rotation coming out from Lil. They do throw down a sentry ward. Brood has her on sentry ward. As soon as she notices, she'll be able to cut it down with the quelling blade. But uh, yeah, a little interesting of the change up here. Not I mean, something we were expecting at all. I mean, really, the only big change is the mid and the off lane and the mid and the safe lane, respectively. Nice the vision off, coming out here. The, the off lane and the safe lane for both teams is pretty much standard. You've got the safe lane necro, the off lane bat, so that's normal. But I'm just really curious about this this Lena and Quap top lane. Mid lane already. Mag's struggling pretty badly here. Trying to get maybe just a couple more hits. They're going to get the first blood over here onto Mag. Although the Fissure coming in, is it going to be Lil? No, he pops the Fairy Fire. Might actually still make it out. And no, Lil will be the first to fall. Nice rotation coming out here from King R. Mag going to go ahead, pop that salve. That was very, very close and very scary here for this brood mother. And that's one way to run out of brood, you know? Don't worry about the babies. Just go for the mama. Yeah, she's... Uh, and the really nice rotation from King R secures that, turns that back around. Uh, the the dust pickup, the early dust pickup was really key because, like you said, Brood's going to expect the Sentry Ward. So just rolling in with dust on top almost secures in that kill. And Lil snags the... He's just the king of these ruins, man. He's like, yeah, I'm going to take that. Thank you. He, he's just going to do whatever he wants in this game. I mean, he's oh. he did whatever he wanted yes. in the first game, too. Oh. Things went really, really well for him. Starting to build up a mass of babies, though, here for uh, Mag over here in mid. <clears throat> but definitely, he has to be very careful because uh, Lil, of course, you know, carrying that dust, he's looking whenever possible. If it's low enough, they're going to just have Ramses run at him. And that's, you know, what a Nurse Bear does, too. So breaks out. Although we see the Arcane Rune now over on Lil, picked up earlier. Looked like he wanted to possibly try something here. They will put some more pressure over onto uh, no one. But there's the roll in coming out from Lil. Will turn himself around, tell them to back off of his Lena. Disruptor is going to rotate up too. They, they really don't want no one exploding like he did in the last game. He was very difficult to kill. And, I mean, Lean is a lot squishier of a hero than Death Prophet is by nature, but they don't want to even have to worry about how much damage the no one can put out. Yeah, they've got their eyes over here onto no one. They will go ahead, blink forward, throw out the cage, one more hit, and it looks like Arzik actually will be the one to get the kill. Meanwhile, Lil hanging out here in the trees going on here in mid 
Just a lot of babies building up. Alright. Do they realize that Lil's over here? I don't think they do. I guess they figure he must have TP'd out, but uh, he's sitting in position. I don't know if they want to try to make a play with no one coming back into lane here with full health and uh, mana. So the really interesting thing that Ramses has done to deal with this lane is he's maxing Earthshock and he's got himself a uh, Top lane, top lane. Looks like we're going to get a kill over onto F and then J. Rotation coming out as well. They found Solo over here onto the side. King R, he's got Fissure, he's got the Enchant Totem, but I think they're just a little afraid. They don't know who's waiting around that corner because they don't have vision until they'll back themselves out. And uh, Brute's hanging out in the jungle now. Been dealing, uh, having some problems dealing with Ramses here, and Ramses gets himself a double damage rune. Yeah, I mean, he's That's... he's actually set himself up to deal with the spiders pretty well. He's got Soul Ring and Earth Shock, so he can just spam that out and farm these spiders every time they come up exactly what he's been doing like you said yeah 42 and 5 currently for cs brew 28 and 4 so he's having a great time in this lane he's just feeding off these spiders no problem and uh, during all of this pasha just gets a free lane yeah necro's been pushed back to the jungle which isn't a sentence you hear very much anymore but uh that's kind of one of the only heroes that can kind of deal with Oh, we lose Afan Ninja again in the top lane during all of that. This is such a strong lane. They're just playing this really well. Lil's been very patient. He's actually been sitting over here in the trees the entire time. Uh, just kind of waiting for that moment to come forward. Very nice, patient Earth Spirit plays here coming out. Yeah, Earth is level 6 now, so... Yeah, what does is, what is Mag do with this? Like, I don't think they realize like how difficult it would be to deal with this Earth Bear early on. Like, even I didn't really realize, honestly. Like, I didn't I mean, think about the Earth Shock just being able to go ahead and just obliterate them all so quickly. It's such a weird build, right? Like, you wouldn't. This is the only matchup I think you'd ever see Soul Ring on Ursa. But just because of this matchup, it's so good. Like, we were talking about effect adapting really well with Sedoi on the Faceless Void yesterday. We see Ramsey's doing the same thing here. He's got. He's like, all right, I need as much mana as I can possibly get to deal with these spiders, so. I'm just gonna get a soul ring. Screw it. I don't care that I'm an Ursa Bear. You do what you gotta do to get it done, right? Nice vision though coming out here from King R. Ramses doesn't seem concerned about it at all though, just walks himself out. Goes back to farming. While all this is going on, we do see some movement down here in the bot lane. Alpha Ninja looks like he tried to jump onto the uh, Bat Rider. Nothing happens. They do find Sedoi though here in the jungle. Looks like Lil, he's been on the prowl. Trying to just get as much damage onto him as possible. King R making the rotation though, looking like he wants to get the fissure. Nice stone will be able to stun him up. He's over by the shrine though, so I should be okay. And now Lil, I don't think he's too afraid of King R, but he just doesn't want to hang out here, I don't think. There's a nice fissure coming out. Now he should probably be a little bit more afraid because there's more pincering action. We'll be able to roll forward, get the glimpse off back into Sedoi. Sedoi really could use this kill if they can get it, and it looks like our Zeke actually will be the one to finish up. So uh, two two kills under this disruptor's belt right now. Yeah, they've had to completely abandon the top lane, though, and give no one just a free lane, which they don't want to do. They're going to send Sedoi up there now, and he's going to try and pull the creeps under so he can farm, but they're they're trying to, now they're putting this Queen of Pain against this Batrider. It's, There's the lasso coming. coming out over here. How many stacks of sticky? We got four stacks of sticky, and that's just a purifying fire. We'll be able to take Queen of Pain out of existence, unfortunately, for her. Yeah. But Mid lane again, just Ramses. He's just going away at these spiders. He's loving this life. Middle tower is under attack. Do you see some movement coming out here from King R? And, uh, Shrine gets pinged over here on the Radiant side. Looks like Lil again on the prowl. Situation. There have been so many lane rotations from this co-op. She just doesn't know where They're to just safely Yeah, farm. they can't figure out where to go. And, uh, if it's not working, try another lane, I guess, you know? Now they're just going to have the Bat Rider follow her around because Sticky Napalm is just so good. She's already got kind of oh, a sub. Disgusting. <laughs> She's got a Soul Ring on the Queen of Pain. <laughs> Taking a page out of Ramsey's notebook, I guess. <clears throat> Ramsey's actually, you know, he's been farming up all of these. Oh, wait, we get a, uh, a roll out here coming out from a little. Looks like Arzeek was trying to trap him. He is stuck low over onto the Radiant side. They're going to see if they can maybe pop him down here. Sitting pretty low, 30 hit points, and then down to zero, so... So do I gets a much-needed kill over onto Lil. 
who has just been running amok this whole game. During all this, though, again, no one actually making the rotation bottom and just taking this tower. So do I need to be careful here? Like, got a Laguna Blade up and running over on no one? I mean, so does no one also has to be careful. There There's a hasted bear running at you with a soul ring. What do you do? You go, Shroud. You run away. Mag does get a kill, though, over onto Solo, but this is a very dead Sedoi. Ramses will take that. And uh, while all this is going on, too, we lose Alpha Ninja. We do lose the Bat Rider on the flip side of that, so ticking down to the dagger damage. That's true. Uh, definitely, definitely a nice bit of recovery gold for the Queen of Pain, because she is just struggling so much to find her footing in this game. Lil and uh, RZ playing a little peek boo around these trees. Trying to sit up, though. So, uh, RZ might want to be a little careful. Glimpse comes out, and here comes the army of babies. They are starving, they are hungry, they will probably get the kill over onto Lil, but uh, the silence coming out over onto Mag here. A little bit scary. Now Ramsey's caught in this uh, kinetic field. Will try to run himself out here, does not. Does he have just to, you know, back up here. Oh, they're able to take down. <laughs> poor, poor Solo. But uh, risks his life to save his, uh, his cores there. Life of a support, right? Yep, that's pretty much it. And I mean, Ramsey's I don't think was ever in any real danger. If he was ever, if he ever thought he was actually in trouble, all he does is press R. He purges off the uh, Queen of Pain dagger and just becomes impossible to kill. Yeah, we've got a smoke coming out here from the Radiant. It's like they're going to try to go get a pick off on this Bat Rider if possible. Definitely need to do something here to gain a little bit of momentum back. He does have his drums online, though. This might be a tough kill. They do have Glimpse. Sedoi has the Reaper Scythe ready to go. hold him into place. He's just going to jump over. There's the Glimpse back. They will throw him over onto the side here. Drums, like he said, getting popped. King R coming into place here. Does not have the Fissure quite yet. During all this, we lose off a ninja again uh, to no one. There's the Scythe coming in. Not enough damage. Just trying to hold him into place. And now they are in a dangerous position here. Ramses is here. He's ready to murder. King R is trying his best to buy himself some time. Looks like the uh, Necropos will be able to get out, but King R trying to just do anything to Pasha. Still gets taken down. And Queen of Pain was uh, killed by no one in the bottom lane in the meantime. No one closing in now. There's no there's no safe place for Alpha Ninja to go at this point. Although he oh, does get a cleanup kill over onto no one. That's, that's pretty that's good. That's a way of farming, I guess, you know? Farming heroes instead of creeps, that works. Well play, yeah. thanks, yeah. <laughs> nice nice observer ward comes out, sees uh, a very low no one going for the regen rune. And nice uh, nice immediate reaction from the Queen of Pain, getting some revenge. Alright, looks like Ursa's looking to go in for this Roche here. Does have a support standing nearby. One tiny baby will wander its way into the pit and realize, oh, they're roaching, but I'm not sure what they can really do about this, honestly. Like, Lich has the Chain Frost now. He's got his level 6. And they've got the Sentry Ward right outside, now, so that he can't even do anything cute. Like, try and just walk yeah. in. More babies. Just a little... couple more babies every single time. He just, he just wants to see, like, where... No, it's a dead Roche, though. Is. Roche taken down. They use the Laguna Blade over here onto the side. They will be able to get the lasso off over onto Sedoi. While all this is going on, though, we see that this Chain Frost just doing work. Takes down Sedoi, takes down King R as well. So they get the Aegis and they get two kills. So it's it's not looking great for effect, but Brood's actually closing in on a pretty nicely timed Radiance. She doesn't have boots yet, though. So maybe less, a little less nicely timed because she skipped boots, but... If she is able to get that Radiance up and running, the mit, the added mischance is going to be really nice. And uh, the extra damage and damage over time is going to be really nice. Lena, you know, pretty squishy hero. Lich has has some extra help from the Frost Armor, but Radiance doesn't care. So this, this Radiance pickup could actually work out for effect. Oh, Alpha Ninja, you are in the danger zone, buddy. There are so many dire heroes pincering in on your location. Could his... be okay, although, oh, Batrider coming for it. He doesn't have Lasso, does. so they're not going to be able to lock him down that way. Yeah, he does have Blink uh, online, though. Like, this this Radiant Jungle is so dark. Like, that's so scary being, you know, Alpha Ninja trying to do anything here. And they put up some really Dyer aggressive vision on under the under side of the Dire, but... I don't know. Yeah, Ramses, he gets yet another kill over onto Mag. 
At no one's surrounded by three heroes right now. He might try and play his way out of this one. Uh, he should be able to get this kill over onto King R. Yeah, look at him here. Still alive. They use the scythe. Still alive here, though. Deathbolt coming in, and they will actually get the last hit. And uh, we do see Pasha coming top. Wants to grab Sadoi. Does not have that lasso for another second or so, but it doesn't matter. They'll still be able to take him down. And now they've grabbed up a ninja who's come up to the top. They use the ultimate on just him. And he's still alive. So life is, is going okay for Queen of Fame because... Uh, that could have been a lot worse, but pretty much helpless to do anything about this tower right now. We do see King R. He teleports up. He's going to be able to maybe throw that fissure out over onto Ursa. Can they pop this Aegis? No. The fact that uh, Enrage pur uh, purges off the Queen of Pain dagger means that he doesn't even have to worry about the damage over time. He just waits for the dagger to come out, purges it off, and walks happily away back to either his shrine or base, depending on what's he what he wants to do. Roland coming in over here onto Mag does not connect, but they do have vision. They have the uh, dust as well, so. And another hasted Ursa bear. Uh, I swear, the Ursa haste is one of the scariest, uh, scariest rune recipients kind of thing. It's so that and like Pudge level one or Treant level one with the haste rune back in the day when they weren't bounty. Oh yeah. That was terrifying. If you were playing support, you weren't getting away from that. You were just dead. Every single time. The other one that's terrifying is PA double damage, but uh, that's... I mean, Ursa, Ursa Haste is pretty goddamn scary. Ursa's terrifying with the haste, but uh, trying to go after this tower here on top. Off and is sitting at level 11 right now. Solo just kind of hanging out, throwing the frost armor onto the tower. There's just so, like, almost no, no damage and in the bot lane. They're looking for anyone who might be farming. He's under attack. No one just happily, you know, pushing out lanes, hitting creeps. He does have his Yules online. He's got another thousand gold. Probably going to move into the Bloodstone next. This, this bear is like the king of the forest. He just doesn't care. Just ran through like half of the Radiant Jungle. It's so scary too with that Blink Dagger being online. I mean, he's All got Aegis. He doesn't care. Dead. With Aegis online, he does not care. Oh, Ra Radiance is on through though, so... Might see some scaling now from Mag. Looks like Arzik tries to run himself out, unfortunately. Won't make it. Arzik was on a dominating kill. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's pretty funny. And uh, Ramsey's actually going to go right for the BKB. He wants this game to be over as quickly as possible. They're looking for this brood mother. They do find her over here onto the corner, land a light strike array, and they use the Laguna Blade. She's gonna try to fight her way off here, but that lasso, lasso will be able to hold her into place. A nice chain frost coming out as well. Sadoi trying to run himself back. They do get the kill over onto no one, but they'll lose Sadoi in the process, and uh, yeah. Mega kill streak here for Ramses. This bear out of control. They did lose the Lena. King Ars. But, and, I mean, the trade-off for Lena having, you know, Sadoi, their hard carry, King R, and the Broodmother, their mid, like, definitely works out for the side of BP here. Yeah, and Quap not even able to go for any offensive items. She's, she's so scared that she's actually forced to go in for the Yule Scepter first, which means that her damage spike is going to come much later than normal. She doesn't even get, even looking at her talents, she's gone for the 10 strength. Like, she's just trying to tank up. She, she's been picked off so many times that she can't play aggressively like you need this Queen of Pain to. All right, no one's back to lane here. It looks like the next item on the agenda is the Bloodstone. P pretty reasonable pretty considering. Pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard building here. They're going fairly well for him. He's sitting at the second of the net worth. Ramsey's, of course, leading 10k. Alpha Ninja looking to get any sort of a pick here, but Lil, sensing that something's off, does go ahead, TPs himself away. And they're just, they're still, they're, they're chipping away at this top tower, but they're not quite there yet. The TP comes out from Solo. He's not ready to give this up, although needs to be careful because Alpha Ninja, he sees that he's over into these woods. He's trying to juke around. <laughs> I don't know, Solo. I think you're dead here, buddy. Yeah. Sadoi will get a kill, but during all of this, you've just got Alina on the bot lane. No one just wailing away at your tower. You've got your jungle just infested with Dire. 
Mag doesn't even feel safe coming up to try and contest this. They've been very good on sentries and dust, so he can't do usual breed shenanigans and run up and try and pick off like the back lines, whether that be like the Earth Spirit or the Bat Rider. He he doesn't feel comfortable doing it. They see him over here. Tasha sees him doing these ancients. They might go for this kill. See if Ramsey's real stuff rotate over. Nah, his his invis ran out, so Meg knows now. Spiders off, yeah. Dyer's top tower isn't well at the moment. I think they're just waiting for the next Roche. Radiance middle tower. PKB completed now over on Ursa, so it's basically a non-factor for him. Any of the heroes on the side of the uh, Radiant now. Okay, so this is the big power spike for VP, right? This is obviously they can still continue to scale a little bit but this is the power spike it's 19 minutes in the game they've got bkb they've got fresh bloodstone on lena if these if this next fight goes their way it's pretty close to gg it's not full gg but it's pretty close if this next if this next fight doesn't go their way however thanks to mags uh radiance and you know queen of pain now having a defensive item this could actually start to turn around for a fact they, they are not out of this game by any means. Oh, I don't know. This bear is mighty <laughs> scary. Ramsey's all smoked up. I've got some uh, little spider babies gonna go ahead and uh, put some damage over onto the wave. Looks like no one trying to clean up over onto the side. It's gonna be a big fight here. Yeah, Ramsey's he finds our Zeke and he says, yeah, you're gone. You're out of here. Lasso coming in. Beautiful play here. We'll be able to go ahead Take out King R. There's no threat of an Echo Slam here at all now. A couple bounces coming around here for the Chain Frost, but they're able to take the tower. And they feel pretty satisfied with that. Roche is actually back up, so they're probably going to go for that as their next objective. Yeah, it looks like already Mr. Ramsey's here. Going to go murder himself a Roche monster. This is a pretty early spawn, too. They took this at like 12, 13 minutes. So this was a pretty fast uh, Roche on timer. They got really lucky with this. And uh, that big power spike that I was talking about just got a lot bigger. You went very Canadian on me there. <laughs> yeah? How, how, yeah, what about it? <laughs> all about it. Smoke comes out immediately. They look like they wanted to jump over here onto Mag. Mag has already hightailed himself back, though. He's like, mm, yeah, don't want to deal with that. They do have the smoke, though, too, so I'm not sure if uh, everyone's going to be able to reveal himself. Sadoi, I feel like Sadoi just doesn't know what to do. Like, he's very, very close to where, you know, oh, looks like RZ. He drops the Static Storm. It doesn't even matter. So that's one less ultimate that BP has to worry about as they go high ground. Uh, F, F Ninja here trying to run himself away from Pasha. Pasha just keeps throwing out those stacks of Sticky, trying to uh, give some vision. <laughs> the Yules comes out, though. Pasha's waiting. He's got the lasso. He's got some stacks of that sticky napalm over onto F and Ninja. He's got like two of them. There's a jump forward from Ramses. He's just godlike. This is a bear. King of the jungle. He's 9 0 1 right now. He has mm -hmm. no cares in the world. And it was it was a cute attempt by F and Ninja. And I think if Pasha doesn't find him there, that could have actually worked. You know, you're drawing a lot of attention. But, I mean, Pasha found you, so. The points mute and he's actually gonna grab the gem now so any vision that's already out for the radiant it's a pretty dark map for them but it's gonna get darker in about 20 30 seconds yeah it's pretty spooky right now for the side of the radiant especially because the spirit mother unfortunately you know just wasn't able to get going like she probably wanted to she's got the radiance online she's got the medallion but during all this she's not intentionally, obviously, but uh, just feeding spiderlings to Ramses, making him into a big, strong bear man here. So, not really ideal. She is doing pretty well on levels, though. Like, the highest level in the game is no one on at 19. And if you look at Mag, he's level 17. The next closest person on his team is 14. So he's actually keeping up pretty well in terms of levels and uh, even network. He's not doing. Too oh, bad. look at all that gold. <clears throat> no one just making it rain. He actually even turns off his radiance so he doesn't reveal his presence. Well, that's smart. I would definitely, uh... Definitely think that would be a very... Big deal for him not to be found out just because of his radiance being on. Look at no one. He's just... Takes down these babies, just sieges away at this tower. Like, it's going down so fast. Got 14 bloodstone charges. It's got cheese on top of that. And Ramses is just uh, taking a little bit of a bear nap over here. 
I'm waiting for that opportune moment because it doesn't seem like the Radiant have any idea really how to approach this, honestly. He's looking at Arzik, though. Wow, no, he's turned his mind. And he's looking over at Sadoi. Can't really get past this visitor though. We'll just wait, be patient. During all this, we hear that the lasso coming out over here onto the Broodmother. They're still going to be able to take down Sadoi. They'll be able to take down the Broodmother. The buybacks are coming out. This is kind of the last stand, I think, for them. Ramsey's fought over into this kinetic field. We'll turn himself back around. The Magnetize coming out as well. Let's get a really nice ultimate coming out from our Queen of Pain, but just not enough damage. Turning back around, Mag is going to have a dieback here. Are they going to keep it? Yeah, look at Ramses. He knows he's strong. He's going to go right after Sadoi. There's the Echo Slam coming out from King R, but it doesn't matter. No one gets a double kill. And uh, the series is going to go 2-0 oh, to Virtus Pro. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it a little bit. Laning phase, whichever team took the advantage in the laning phase was going to have a pretty easy time running away with it and make it much harder for the other team to recover from.